Caitlin Bristow and Tasha Adams reveal major bachelorette details. Hey guys, welcome back to another shared news from home. We have got to talk about everything Caitlin and Tasha had to say, but before we get into it, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. As always, I'm your host, Fiona Zaring, joined by the lovely Gianna Gravelisi. Gianna, these two really had a lot to say in their latest interview, so let's just start unpacking all of the tea they spilled. First of all, they shared some very candid opinions on Katie's contestants. Caitlin shared, quote, they're all either dramatic or sweet or humble or funny. So a lot of things there, dramatic, sweet, humble, or funny. They all bring something to the table. There's a couple you're going to want to keep your eyes on, but I'll let you have your own opinions. You're going to see personalities shine very soon. So Gianna, obviously last week we saw Greg get the first impression rose. You know, some early front runners started to emerge, but Caitlin made it clear that people shouldn't count anyone out just yet. I mean, from what she's saying here, it seems like Katie not only got a really great group of guys, but we should maybe expect the unexpected. It seems like some of these early front runners maybe won't end up being the one. What are your thoughts on this? I mean, if Greg doesn't end up being the one, I'm going to be very upset because I love him right off the bat, as does everybody else. You know, he got the first impression, Rose. I think that all of America fell in love with him just because of how timid and shy he was. Then we did see, you know, enemies right off the bat. We saw men saying that they don't like each other. And then let's talk about the latest preview as well. I mean, we see Katie crying, running off, and we know that her season ended early. So we should very much expect the unexpected. I mean, any Bachelor, Bachelorette season, you just never know what can happen. So, I mean, I agree with Tasha and Caitlin. I don't think that we should make assumptions right off the bat. I mean, it's great that we can make our little predictions and have fun and see what's going to happen for ourselves. But, I mean, I agree. I think that this season, like, a lot of stuff is going to go down that we definitely don't see coming at the moment. And... I can't wait, but I'm also really nervous. <laughs> Gianna, I am so with you, nervous, but very excited. Obviously, we're gonna be seeing what happens in week two of Katie's journey tonight. They shared a little bit on what we can expect from this week's episode, because if you guys have seen the promos, I truly think it's going to be wild. We're gonna be seeing Katie head out on her first round of dates, and she and the guys apparently waste absolutely no time diving right in. Tasha says, quote, we're going to get down and dirty in multiple ways this evening. And uh, of course, being sex positive has become kind of a huge theme in Katie's season, right? I think it's brought up in every single interview. They've been teasing it a lot in the promos. She's already discussed it. And that's going to be an ongoing theme throughout the whole season. And Caitlyn in particular is really here for it. I don't know if you guys remember, but Caitlyn faced a lot of backlash on her own season for her sex positive energy. She, of course, slept with someone outside of the fantasy suites. So this whole conversation of being sex positive is something that's really important to Caitlyn. And she actually opened up about being excited to be a part of this sort of moment of change within the franchise. She said, quote, I don't think it should be a taboo topic. I got a really hard time for it online, but my hope in having a voice is for change to happen. So to see the show celebrating it and even to see the viewers celebrating it more, it feels very empowering and I'm glad I had a little something to do with it. I feel like when she said this quote, I already was so sold on Caitlin and Katie and Tasha and what that dynamic is going to look like and it was so exciting. But I think this just honestly adds another level to Caitlyn being Katie's mentor. It feels like such a great fit. I really have high hopes for the three of them this season. What are your thoughts on what we've seen so far? You know, the dynamic, hearing what Caitlyn just said. Are you into them as hosts, Gianna? Oh, yes, absolutely. I mean, right off the bat, I know we've only had one episode, but just seeing the three of them together made me so happy because it reminded me of me and my two best friends. Like, we're, we're a trio, we're a group of three, and just seeing how they acted just is how we act. And I think that's the case for a lot of the viewers that are women. I mean, 
we all have our best friend, maybe two best friends, three, however many, we all have that one girl or whoever that we go to, especially for relationship advice. So I don't even see them as hosts. I love that you said, you know, they are her mentors because that's exactly what they are. They are there for Katie. I mean, the two have been through it before. Katie's even been through it before, but the two are in successful relationships. So I think that mm -hmm. they are the perfect two people to actually give her sound advice. I mean, they were giving her advice right off the bat within like 10 minutes of the episode saying, you know, don't count anyone out right off the bat. Like, don't rule anyone out. Don't make assumptions. Everything that they basically said to us as viewers already. And I think that was great advice for Katie. And I think that Katie is actually going to take all of their advice and utilize it. I mean, if we did have Chris Harrison, it would obviously be a very much different dynamic and it would be what we're used to. But I love this shift. I love this change. And on the topic of being sex positive, you know, as a sex positive woman, and we've heard that term all throughout the last episode. And <laughs> I think it's great. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. It's not like they're being, you know, dirty or kind of grimy throughout the episodes. You know, the men did have their little funny sexual puns thrown in there. We saw the blow up doll, but it's all fun, lighthearted stuff. And I think that Caitlin can definitely attest to as a woman being sex positive and acting on that within the franchise. And I think that's going to help Katie a lot because that's just the woman she is. And I know that that topic is going to be brought up probably way later down the line, but Whenever Katie wants to do it, she should do it. And I think that's what Caitlin and Tasha are going to tell her. So I just love the trio. I'm all for it. And I hope that they stay, honestly. Yeah, I mean, listen, it's going to be a very exciting season. And I'm with you. I'm definitely here for this girl squad. But we know not everyone is, you guys. So let us know in the comments if you totally disagree. It's still early. We've only had one episode. Technically, we'll get our second tonight. We'll see if they can continue to maybe win over some more people as they you know continue their hosting journey of course this season is going to be full of surprises and i know a lot of us are pretty interested and excited in the moment that we're going to be seeing blake moines appear of course he's one of tasha's exes from her season and we've seen in the promos he is coming to shoot his shot with katie for what they teased it looks like blake might be fairly successful in his attempts to come and join her season. We did see a lot of him uh, in different locations, you know, different outfits throughout that season trailer. So seems like he's going to be at least decently successful, which is exciting. But it did prompt the question for at least us here at Shared News, like, how is Taisha going to feel, right? Like, what is that reunion going to look like? And Taisha just opened up about that a little bit in this new interview. Keisha said, quote, I was like, first of all, what are you doing here? But also, I know your heart, you're a kind person. And if this is where you feel like you should be, then I'm going to support you in that. She continued explaining. She said, quote, but I don't know how she's going to feel. So it's going to be really interesting to watch that play out. So Gianna, this is a little bit of what I honestly was expecting from Tasha. I mean, we know she's in such a happy relationship, right? Her season worked out. She ended up with the man of her dreams. I have to say, looking back, it's not like Tasha and Blake had like off the charts chemistry anyways. So I kind of totally get her being cool with him being there. And it honestly just coming down to, is Katie into it? Were you expecting Tasha to react that way? I actually was, I'm with you. I mean, she's in such a happy relationship, so I don't see any reason as to why maybe Tasha would feel a little weird that he showed up. I also think it's so funny because I'm always thinking in the back of my head, like, do they know that that person's coming and do they have to pretend that they didn't? But Tasha's reaction just goes to show that it genuinely was a surprise, Blake showing up. I don't know how Katie's going to feel, but I did see in some of the promos that the guys were not having it. They were like, he was he already had his chance and now he's showing up halfway through. You know, we've seen this happen. And putting mm -hmm. myself in the contestant's shoes, I think I'd feel the same way. You know, you're there night one, you get out of the limo, you have the jitters, you have to make this first impression, and then you're there episode after episode, week after week, doing these challenges. And then for someone to show up, especially an alum from the franchise, and maybe him and Katie did hit it off, I would feel 
like it wasn't fair or I'd feel cheated or I'd feel discouraged. But if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. If Katie's meant to be with Blake, then so be it. Um, but I think that that episode is definitely going to be a very dramatic one. I think the men are going to not react in his favor at all. So I'm I'm excited to see how that kind of goes down. Yeah, I'm definitely excited. And I totally agree with you. I mean, if I was there, I'd be like, I had to fight for, you know, how many roses to still be standing here. Like, you don't have to fight for anything yet, right? Like, and I'm going to have to fight again this week to like hold my place and you might take one of those roses away. It's definitely... Just with the competition being set up the way it is, it kind of sets up whoever the person is coming in to shoot their shot to fail unless they do get to go night one, which of course producers are never going to let happen. Uh, But it will definitely be interesting to see how all of this works out. There's a lot to look forward to in Katie's season, you guys. But separate from that, Taysha and Caitlin also talked about, you know, the huge news that has been rocking Bachelor Nation. The fact that Chris Harrison is, of course, not going to be returning to the franchise at all. So Taysha actually commented on the Chris news and she revealed that they were totally surprised by it, that they learned just like everybody else did, you know, when it was announced on social media. And she said, quote, I think us being there in order to help Katie just really brought a really fun, fresh take. I think women supporting and empowering the Bachelorette lead was something that we didn't know we needed. So she basically said, we didn't know about the Chris news, but I'm really grateful that we were able to lead Katie on her journey, even if, of course, at the time they were just filling in for Chris. We also got some major Bachelor in Paradise news. Of course, we're going to be having a whole slew of celebrity guest hosts, including Lance Bass, Titus Burgess, Little John, and David Spade. Very shocking. We have talked about this a lot on this channel. It's a whole new direction for Paradise. And Taysha did comment on that as well. She said, I think that these fresh faces are going to bring a lot of excitement and a lot of fun to Paradise. And uh, she added that Paradise is a little more loosey-goosey, which it certainly is. Caitlin doesn't think that any of these, you know, new franchise hosts, you know, fill-ins, comedians, whatever we're calling these Paradise people, uh, she doesn't think that they need any tips from her because she says, quote, I feel like they just have to go in with no advice and see for themselves what it is. So, Gianna, a lot of changes happening (laughs) in Bachelor Nation, of course. But I'm curious, what are your thoughts on, you know, Taysha and Caitlyn's very lighthearted take on all of the changes and even more changes to come? I mean, I fully support them. I think a lot of people that weren't necessarily in their favor. We're thinking that Tasha and Caitlin were coming into this, like we are gonna overtake Chris Harrison's spot and like we are the new host and it's our show now and all the focus is on us. But they just bring that dynamic we talked about, you know, the women supporting women. And they have that funny little commentary the first episode where they were looking out the window, you know, they bring that comedic relief as well. They just bring such a different aspect to the show that we really didn't know that we needed. And you know what? For the next Bachelor season, I'm all for having two male hosts, you know, men supporting men. It can go the other way as well. So I am literally down for just never having a permanent host ever again. Again, I know some people are not happy with this. People really loved Chris. And you know what? Like, he had his time. He had his run. And I think instead of just sitting here and like, bashing the franchise we just all need to have an open mind and accept what's happening and the just the the paradise lineup just makes me laugh because it's the most random group of people I've ever heard in my life like Lil Jon like what advice can you give a rapper hosting Bachelor in Paradise you know so I think that that Caitlyn not giving him any advice at all is so funny and I think that these two women are so smart they have such wise words and just their lighthearted reaction is a testament to show that they didn't have ill intentions coming in as the new replacement or filler host. So, I mean, I would love to see them host again, as I mentioned before, but I think that if this was just their only season, they are already doing such an amazing job. And now the floor is open to these new random hosts for Paradise and whoever else is to come after. And I just, I really can't wait to see what happens. 
Gianna, I couldn't agree with you more. There are so many exciting things coming to Bachelor Nation. Of course, the first being another episode of Katie's season, which I know we are all so excited about. You guys, we want to know your thoughts on everything Caitlin and Tasha had to say because there was a lot in there. So let us know down in the comments. And of course, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you do. Make sure you ring the bell because we will be keeping you updated on Katie season 24-7. As always, I'm your host, Fiona Zaring, joined by the wonderful Deanna Gravelisi. If you want to come say hi, check out our socials. They are on the screen right now. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye.